Hey, Robert here at the 52 called Galliot. Uh, she looks uh, really, really clean. It's a gorgeous day. Have fun at uh, West End today. I love uh, the color. It's a beautiful green, a seafoam green. Uh, obviously, fighting chair conveys. Thousand hour service has been done. And she's a Palm Beach boat, you know? <laughs> you know how they are. So, I'm gonna take a look around. They were doing the top sides or waxing the top sides today. They got here just before they got here. But uh, overall, she's really nice. Love that tower. All right. Couple of videos for you. Showing you the boat. So this is the helm. It's the Ising glass is in decent shape. I would say very good shape. Seating back here. Nice L-shaped seating. Here you have some tackle storage and whatnot. schematics of the boat it's awesome it's good stuff and then this I can't seem to open don't know what that is <clears throat> okay um, chairs have a little bit of you know like the leather is cracking a little bit but you know, that, that kind of goes with the territory with both this vintage. They haven't changed them. I mean, they're, they're not ripped or anything. They're still in good shape. But, you know, they have a little bit of this spider cracking. Uh, you can see it. That's one thing I can tell you. I saw. And then let's go to the cockpit. Nice the name seating. You only got a teak step step here. You could probably use a good sanding. And a very very nice fighting chair. It's a release. You have a transom. Live well. Fish. This is, oh yeah, this is a huge fish box. It goes across. Yeah. It looks like it has an Eskimo chipper. I'm pretty sure it does. I'll get into the engine room here shortly, but rocket launchers all across. Nice setup. Here's your cabin. Beautiful woodwork. Typical of Vikings. Nice L shaped seating. Galley. I see a little discoloration you see a little milking here so not impeccable but definitely not beat up teak and holly sole with this carpeting inlaid so you can you want to just keep it teak and holly you, got, you can keep that this is the first bathroom Seems 
to be the master V berth. Master bath. Pretty big toilet. I mean, pretty big shower. Everything's nice. I mean, it's in good shape. It's not beat up whatsoever. We've got the twin bunks here. And then washer and dryer with some storage. Uh, you've got the man manual and the full 52 manual love that four burner stove and then sub-zero drawer fridges and freezers pretty cool It's all cleaned out. I mean, this guy's ready to sell. Here's a convection grill and oven. You know, all the personal effects are off the boat. Here's your control panel. Very easy to see. You know, typical stuff. These, these doors are a little shot. storage. All right, let's take a look at the engine room. Give you a nice perspective from here. Take a look at everything. The TV. <clears throat> All right, engine room. Chillers are right here. Motor generator. The exhaust. Triple shaft seals. accessible almost a stand up <laughs> I'm 6'1 I can't really stand up but almost it's better than crawling a little bit of access not great Vikings famous Delta box system for all the illumination and ventilation of salt water in the engine room. There's your Glendinning pole, your Sea Fire, and your 240 box. They also have engine start buttons up here as well. Here's your bills or your pumps and your Seacocks. Everything really accessible. Looks good in here. Definitely nice. Good thing is that they did the thousand hour service, which is expensive. So you don't have to worry about that on these mans. Once they do those thousand hour services, these things are pretty much bulletproof. All right, happy, good stuff.